Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Tim Means versus Alex Morano. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence Alex Morano to beat Tim Means. I think um, Tim Means at one point and probably even still now. Oh, and I can't even say that, but um, Tim Means is definitely a problem. He's definitely a skilled dude. But I think as he gets older, he doesn't take damage the best anymore. He also doesn't, on um, Morano's side, he's coming off a fight. He was looking pretty good and he got caught and finished in the third round. Not to say it was luck or anything. He got caught. He got set up and got caught or walked into it or was, it was clean technique. But nonetheless, you got touched, you got finished. So that's not the best look to be coming in this fight. But it's not like um, Tim Means is coming in the most durable guy either. But I think first round will be a little bit close. Okay, go either way. But I feel like Morano going to start to pick up the pace and they start to swarm the older fighter in. Um, Tim Means who's like 38 versus like a 32-year-old um, Ronald. Ronald like sitting right in his prom. I said prom. Like, you on a prom? He's not 18. He's not 17. But Ronald's sitting right in his prime, like 32 years old. Probably got like three more years of his prime, probably. And um, Tim Means like three years out of his prime at like 38. So I think that pace, and I think he's getting better. Even like I said, it was a very probably the best performance of his career. It just happened they got finished in it. So I think Ronald's going to come back and I think he's going to recover well from that loss. Still young enough to bounce back from that loss. Not like in case you get hit. And now every single time you like come into the fight on red mode, your head fully on red. You know, that's what older fights. You get dropped, knocked out one fight, your mode head be beeping as soon as you enter the cage. Like, boom, boom. But younger fighters, his head might enter just a little bit pink, but it ain't going to be full bright red. But nonetheless, so they probably be on similar standing grounds. Because Tim Means is a guy at 38. Not saying come off a knockout loss, but we already like 38. Your head already kind of a little bit red, unless you Floyd Mayweather or something, and you have a good chin and you ain't took most damage career. But uh, where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? This is a quick pick. You go over here playing video games. But um, yeah. So I think the first round, good round for um means, but going with the younger fighter in his prime, I think Morano should be able to overwhelm it with volume and work rate. And Morano is a pretty solid fighter when he wants to be. He got a solid grappling, solid striking when he wants to be, but and also, I think since he's turned this page in his career, you know, he got caught and finished his last fight. He still was showing, like, this evolution of the fight that he's not this, this guy that's going out there to have a fight of the nights and showing, like, you no know, pick the shots well, using his feet more and not just being a guy that's go out there and slug and, like, kill or be killed. So I feel like he'll do some of that in this fight as well. I'm not saying he won't go kill or be killed, but I think he will turn intensity up. He will we'll use his feet. He wants to be there coming straight at um, means, allowing means to pick him parts. He come on a linear, just straight towards him. I think he'll be able to mix in some angles, mix in some leg kicks. Be more faster, be more fluid, be, use that youth to his advantage. Say, extend Tim Means to that second round. Maybe even attempt some takedown just to give Tim Means some different look. Make Tim Means have to defend some takedown. You know, weird that old man, older man down and make him drop those hands a little bit, make him breathe out his mouth a little bit. Then that opened up your shots. I think he'll fight a smart, educated game plan against Tim Means. Again, as I say, Morano is moving that to that next chapter of his career where he's, you know, he's entering his prime or he's sitting in his prime and he's making better decisions now than when he was in his 20s. So, and I think in the second round, he starts to overwhelm Tim Means and probably stops him late. Like late second round, TKO for um, Morano. First, close first round, but then starts to gradually pick that pace up in the second round. And then it still it drowns Means. And it means not defending well anymore. Getting swarm with shots, probably getting buzzed by a little bit, bit of them. Probably get clipped a little bit and start kind of falling into the cage. And Morano just being relentless on him. Maybe then level change, scoops on the cage and start landing some, landing some ground and pound on him. And gets that um, second round TKO. So... In this one, I have Alex Morano via second round TKO.